Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is project number five and the last of this year's Mother's Day series 2019. You've been sending me some lovely comments, messages, emails. You've really enjoyed it and it's been so nice to see your versions of what I've made. So I hope you've enjoyed this week and I hope you enjoy this last tutorial. So this is my teacup. Now it's going to be hard because I don't want the sweets to fall out but if I pop it on its side, can you see the teacup? and it has a fancy little handle. Now this is actually my prototype, but it ended up turning out really well as I was just playing around. So if I bring it around the back here, you should be able to see the handle. If I hold the sweets, there we go. Can you see the little twisted handle? There we go, that's better if I bring it up close. This is adorable. Now all these bits here are just kind of stuck in, because again, I'm just kind of still playing around. But what I've done, take that off because that's again not to, um, attached yet you are too t you are terrific world's best mother this is an old stamping up um, stamp set but what I've the, the concept is obviously it's a cup of tea um, and you know mum can sit down take a break <laughs> and relax put her feet up and then inside here is a tea bag and this is a cranberry it's a twinings one it's a really nice one anyway it's one of the fruit teas and it's pink so I popped it in this tiny little pocket and then I've just got this here, World's Best Mother. Um, I was going to stick it down, but I think I might just keep it in there like that. Now, I also wanted those lollipop sticks with the chocolate on the end that you can dunk in your hot drink. Obviously, that wouldn't really go with the tea that's in this one, but it's just another nice thing to put in there. But I couldn't see any in the supermarket, but that's another option. But I filled it with the gorgeous Lindor. Um, these ones are the strawberries and cream delicious and I haven't been eating these ones because these are not cheap <laughs> so I am keeping these specifically for this and um, yeah these are going to be going off to friends for their mums so yeah so that's the one there and if I bring it up here can you see all the little detail and there's a doily on the bottom with the saucer now this is really easy to make honestly you will not believe how easy this is and I was been playing around I've wanted to do a teacup for some time and I always want to try and do something a little bit different and I think this has turned out really well now in terms of packaging it you could pop, the, pop this in a cellophane bag and just kind of scrunch it up at the top put some nice ribbon on it or if this tutorial does well and people really like it and they're making it, I will consider doing a box for it. I have an idea of a box, an acetate box, but I just want to see if there's really a demand or a need for it. So they're the options. And um, yeah, I think afterwards, once you take everything out, what I've also done, because it'd be a nice little storage piece, but inside I finished with the flower. In fact, that way I can show it off much, much better. Bring it all the way around. Isn't it cute? I just love the handle. It does work, see? Little cup and saucer. So pretty. So that's what we're going to make. Now the papers I'm using, you'll probably recognise if you saw my large tote shoulder bag that I'd done two days ago. And that is using this paper pack here. Now at the beginning of the tutorial I said my mum took off the top covers because she used them for another project. So I didn't know the name of it. But many of you sent me messages and you were kind enough to tell me that this is the Sweet Garden Roses. And it's from the works and it's £3. It's beautiful. So this is what I'm going to use. I actually don't have a lot of double-sided, really feminine papers. And this one's just worked brilliantly for Mother's Day. So I'm going to use this one here which has got the floral with the stripes going through and it's got this nice other side there because you want a double sided for this because you see obviously inside the cup and on the side of it as well. Now the beauty about this one is you can make it any size you want. So I did play around on some kind of copy paper but this size I thought was just kind of just right. You know you kind of you know sometimes you make it a bit big. I made one that was too small and I thought this one just seems to be just right. So I'm going to be using this tool here but as I say, whenever I use this, you can use a dinner plate and a side plate. For this one, you'll probably need a dinner plate and then like a saucer size. So I'll go through those measurements anyway as we go and we'll get straight into it now because like I said, it's pretty quick as well. This didn't take me long to put together. So using this here, this is the X cut circle cutter. I use it loads. It's, it's about 9 99 and I think it's a really good useful piece to have in your craft room. So yeah, if you ask me if I would recommend it, yes I do. And it's also over on my Amazon storefront and I list there all the, all the tools I use with links as well. So go check it out and I'll link that below. Okay, so you want to bring this so it's about 11 and a half and just tighten it up. So you can just see there, 
Okay, there's your 10, there's 11, and then there's the halfway. Pop this in here and just hover it over the top first, making sure it's going to cut all in the paper and it needs to come down a bit there. You just don't want it going over the edges at all. There we go. Now I'm going to push that down. Like so. Now don't move this, keep it where it is. Now if you've got a dinner plate, that's fine. You can remove your dinner plate now and I will give you the radius of this in a minute so you can get a dinner plate or something roughly. But this is what you want to do first. You're cutting your initial large circle. Then drop it down to six and a half. Again, do not move the middle part here. Just keep it all together and then cut. Okay, so you're going to want something can remove that now and take this out. So this basically becomes the side of our cup. Now you'll get two cups out of this, maybe even three. So you want a dinner plate or something circular that's large that's 11 and a half diameter and then you need something that is six and a half diameter to go in the middle which will give you a two and a half width ring. Okay, now what we can do is cut it in half. You don't have to be see, too careful with this. I am going to just follow my stripes. So I'm just going to cut up there and cut up there. Okay, so now you've got two halves. Keep this as well because this turns into your saucer, although you only get one saucer out of this. So obviously if you want them matching, you would have to go into another piece of your cardstock or just, you know, have a white one with one of them. For the saucer, I trimmed, I cut this down to a four inch diameter. So I need to roughly bring this down, right down to the four there and then kind of roughly get it in the middle, trim that. So again, a small saucer will work for this. That's now my saucer. Then I've got these doilies here and I just grabbed one of these to stick underneath and then I'll probably put some white cardstock under again, the same size as this, so cut another four inch just to maybe give, give it some strength and tidy it up. You could always write a little message underneath that, but if I bring that up now, you can see how quick the saucer comes together. So that's that. And then to actually make the cup. So what you wanna do is bring it around. See what I mean? You'll probably get more. So I could have cut that into three. So once you know what you're doing, I mean, trim it down accordingly but this is going to come around until you've got the size of your cup so I'm going to just get rid of another bit there now it's entirely up to you how big you go so if I bring this in here you want to just have it kind of sit in the middle there I mean that circle is two inches roughly in diameter along the bottom here I'm going to hold that with the two two inch kind of um, diameter there and I'm just going to cut up here just to remove some more bulk and I've got about a half an inch overhang so can you see where the inside is here you can see this piece is coming over about half an inch okay but now I know that's two inches I can let go because when we go to stick it down I can obviously put it back into that um, size so I'm going to grab some red tape because this is nice and strong pop it on the outside here so yeah you can use anything you have you know you don't have to download any files you don't have to use any dies um, and I love that so this is half an inch um, tape so I'm actually just going to use that as my guide might be a little bit shorter than I thought but you can't go wrong you could have this taller you can have it any way you want there you go there is our little cup. Just make sure you get a nice shape to it there. So I'm going to grab this piece and grab some of my wet glue and just cover that over there. And these are just nice if you just want to make one for yourself and just have it in your craft room. And just put, like I said, use it as a little storage. Okay, so that's stuck down and I'm going to um, die cut another one to go underneath. Now, to attach this onto here, 
so let's just check what my circle ended up being just over two so yeah that's what you want to aim for this is when you're going to use your hot glue and this is why we decorate it like I have so I've used these flowers because it does cover up some glue but I, I do it so that you see hardly any and also the flowers or the flower in here covers up any glue where we've joined it together so I thought that was you know another good little way to cover these things up so what you want to do is you want to run the glue inside okay so let it kind of just you don't want to have it oozing out of this side because you can cover the inside easier than the outside so you just want to go in and just with the hot glue now if you don't have hot glue use the silicone glue that I shared in my what um, uh, what did I get little video um, that's always very good and obviously it doesn't dry as fast as wet glue, um, hot glue does I'm going to be quick with this and then you just want to get it in the middle there and that is, that's it, stuck. <laughs> so you have to be pretty confident with that. But like I said, use a silicone glue. And if you don't have that, use your wet glues. Your white glues, you, you know, I've got the Tombow tacky glue. I've got the Aline's tacky glue. You've got the Art Glitter glue. So there's lots. But now, I bring that up. How cute is it? And you can see there's very, very little glue. Can you just see? So wherever you've got more, have that as your front. Because that's what we can use to use um, to cover with flowers. But inside, there's more of the glue. And that's fine because we're going to cover that with a bigger flower. Now to make the handle, again, really, really easy. Play around until you've, you know, got the hang of it and stuff. I'm going to use the same paper here, but I'm going to flip over and use this side. I might be able to. That's no, not going to be long enough. So I'm actually going to cut into this because I don't need another cup. I've, two is all I need. So let me just grab my trimmer. So I just want to shrink this down a little bit. I'm going to try and get a... Um, a straight piece out of this. Let's get it through my trimmer. So what you want is a piece that's about half an inch thick, like so. And just take that out and then just tidy off the edges. The length I don't know how long yet so let me just do one and then you can see. So in fact I'm going to go a little bit, sh do I keep it? No I'm going to keep it, yeah half an inch I think that one was a little bit thinner but again that was my prototype but it's, it's just very delicate that one so with this piece here and I'm just going to grab my bone folder just want to curl it around okay and then the end I guess a little bit this probably will be enough in fact let me measure this because I think this will just be the right amount so this is four five six this is just over seven seven and a quarter so bring it around and then the bottom part you just kind of want to flick out that way Okay, and then really kind of start rolling it back in on itself till you get a nice little curl. And then kind of let it pop out a little bit. So you get something like that. You see what I've done there? And that's what that is on the back, just in there. Okay. And then what's going to happen is, is that is going to stick. Now I do it so that it sticks on the join. So that will stick just at the top of the join like that. And then this piece, where the curl, curved bit is, the curl, <laughs> that sounded really strange to say, that's what you're going to stick. And can you see straight away it gives you your handle. Now if you want to go shorter, if you think that's a bit too big, I like it. I like it a bit exaggerated. I think that looks really cute. So again, I'm using my hot glue for this. So put the top piece on first. So I'm just going to put a little bead there and attach that. Make sure you keep it nice and straight. Like so. Okay. And then pop literally where that curls. That's where I want to sit it. So if you want to bring it up a little bit, I might just make that a little bit tighter. It's going to be down like that. And you want to make sure it stays nice and straight as well. So again, I'm just going to pop the glue just there and just go for it. Take off any little glue strings and there you have it. How cute is that? It is just so quick. I think it's really really lovely and now it's just down to decorating. So if you're doing a little girls tea party and they're all at their little placemats with their name their place settings with their names on them. How adorable is that? And what a nice little gift to take home after a party rather than a party bag. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and die cut some flowers. I'm going to stamp my little sentiments here. This is just a little wrap. So whatever tea bag you're putting in, I just cut some cardstock the same size and just wrapped it around and used the matching papers. So I'll do one of those. And I'm going to decorate with these little bits here. So I've got these sprigs and I'm going to die cut another flower. And then these are just some of my leftover paper flowers, which I don't have a lot of actually. Ooh, I might have to use some of the purple ones. But that's what I'm going to do. I'll speed the video up so you can still see what I'm doing and I'll be back when it's all done. And there you go guys, that is my finished cup. Just how cute is that? You can see all the flowers. I've done my flower in the middle there. I'm gonna die cut another, so sort of cut another circle for the bottom there. But also another thing I just wanted to show is how lovely would it look with the butterfly kind of sat on the handle there. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm not gonna do these bits because they're just straightforward, that's just a little wrap. You might want to just put the tea bags that come in their individual packets anyway. But I just literally just cut this piece of measures. Um, you'll want a piece that's two and three quarters by what's that? Two, four, four and a half, four and three quarters. And then just wrap it around your tea bag. So that's that piece, and then that was just a die cut sentiment on a piece of acetate, which I'll probably just keep tucked in there. I don't think I will stick that one down. Um, and yeah, just do what you want with it. That one I'd already gone ahead and prepared because that's going to go on my little wrap when I make that and you'll see all that in the photos anyway. But I just wanted to share with you and show you just how quickly it is to make that really gorgeous paper cup. Lovely gift, perfect for many occasions and yeah, hope you like it. I certainly do. So that is it. That is this year's Mother's Day 2019 series wrapped up and I'm now sorted for Mother's Day. So that's me all organised and now I'm working on Easter projects so they will be coming soon so keep an eye out for them if you haven't subscribed and you like what I've made please subscribe hit the thumbs up button as well and also that bell if you hit the bell that will give you notifications of when a new video has come up so thanks again as always you know I appreciate your support and I'll be back again next week with another tutorial thanks for watching bye